Changes are significant. We will retain the most critical functions and expertise for the joint warfighter in an organization flattened for agility and efficiency. But I do want to stress that this will be a different organization. Within the entire state of Virginia, we'll retain about 51% of the Joint Forces Command workforce, going from approximately 4,700 to approximately 2,425 people. We will also maintain a footprint in both Norfolk and Suffolk. We'll have approximately 1,900 people in the Hampton Roads area, down from about 3,800. That'll be about 1,450 in Suffolk and about 450 in Norfolk. I just came from a meeting with all the workers. Uh, I did an all-hands call at 1 o'clock. It lasted about an hour. We went into a lot of detail. Many of the details I just relayed to you, but even some more detail. We, we, we gave them an idea in general terms of what civilian positions will be eliminated, what military positions will be eliminated, and what contractor positions will be eliminated but the very specific detail is still being worked. So specific job to specific name will still take, I believe, another 30 to 60 days for us to completely sort through. Specifically the numbers, again, these are approximate, uh, but we're gonna go from about 2,500 contractors to about 500 contractors. That's across the entire command, not just here in Norfolk and Virginia. We're going to go to a football. Today we have 21 buildings. We have uh, 21 buildings in Norfolk and Suffolk. We're going to go to one building in Suffolk, which will be the Joint War. This building right here, the Joint War Fighting Center. We'll go to three buildings in Norfolk. And they're the most modern, capable buildings that we have over in Norfolk. My, my main function was how do we preserve the Joint Force? So I tried to look at all of these these core functions of how what did they do to help us to continue to support the joint force and that's how we then work through how many people would stay. Uh, we did not target 51 percent, I did not target 40 percent, I tried to target what is needed for us, for me to help protect jointness uh, so the Secretary of Defense and the Chairman can move forward with sustaining that over time. Well I think what you're going to see is, uh, some, again the key functions will be the same, but what I hope to see is it reorganized, uh, it'll be reorganized in such a way where we're better integrated and we're gaining, through that integration, we're able to really promote and do our job better to support the combatant commands and the services as they request help, whether it be in conducting training exercises around the world, or whether it be developing some new doctrine to support Afghanistan or ballistic missile defense or other areas that we work now, that they'll start to see that this better synergy we have will be, will be able to deliver better products. That's what I'm hoping. This is a new way to do business. But I want to emphasize that we are going to continue to do the modeling and simulation experimentation because there was some questions about whether that would continue or not, and that will in fact continue as we move forward. I, I, I think first of all, I would just make a general comment that the DOD capacity here in Norfolk is so critical to what we do. And, and uh, you know, uh, the, the Navy footprint, the, you know, when you talk about the, I would, the Hampton Roads area, which I guess I would reach up all the way to Fort Eustis on down, it's so critical to the future, you know, with Fleet Forces Command, with Training and Doctrine Command from the Army, with Air Combat Command. Those are commands that will never go away. They're too important to what we do. And just the capability of Norfolk here, as I've gotten to know here, I've spent a lot of time trying to learn about the Navy capacity here and, and, and what we have here is essential for us as we move forward. So there might be some attempts to, there'll be some probably attempts to cut along the fringes to gain some efficiencies. But I, I think for the most part, Norfolk will do very well in, in the end because of what's here.